Okay, y'all, so I'm going to start doing a new thing here and there on Southern Roots. And I'm going to have its own playlist. And it will be under Spice, Brine, and Marinade. I'm just going to kind of go over how I brine some of my stuff, how I marinate it, how I spice it up. I'm not going to show you the cooking process. It's just going to be simply the seasoning or the uh, preparing process. So, anyway, I'm cooking some chicken strips up for supper tonight. Y'all ignore my washer's going, my dryer's going, my ice machine's going, so it's a little bit noisy right now. But anyway, I'm going to brine these instead of marinating them. Sometimes I marinate them in buttermilk. But the difference between brining and marinating is brining is more salt based, so therefore it's going to lock in moisture in your chicken, where marinating is more of a flavor base. You can, now you can put your flavoring in your brine some too to help flavor it, which is I'm going to do that. But first of all, I've got my water. I'm going to throw in some ice, about a quarter of a cup of kosher salt, and about I'm going to say an eighth of a cup of Lowry's. I'm going to give it some a stir. Kind of sort of mix it up. Get that water chilled down. Now on uh, a lot of meats, brining can take quite a little while but if you're using boneless and skinless breasts you need a minimum of 30 minutes now I've already took mine and I either slice mine into chunks or strips that's the way my family prefers it so tonight we're doing strips so I'm gonna get these dropped down into the water And they are going to hang out at the minimum of at least 30 minutes. And then I'll drain them off and batter them up and stick them into grease. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch you next time with a different spice or brine or marinade. So... Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button.